Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in yesterday's video, we have seen messages. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create user using user creation form. Okay, so you first of all user creation form is built in by a Django only. We just need to import that and you know provide some details. It will be ready to use. So first we will import that. So from Django dot contrib dot auth dot forms import user creation form okay and we will also import message also so from Django good dot contrib import messages so first of all let me start my toggle screencast toggle so control control shift p okay now it's on okay and here in sign up we are going to handle the users which will create their account okay so in sign up function so i will first check for post methods so if request dot method equals to post then we will assign a form so form is equals to user creation form and in that we will pass post so request dot post okay and then we will check for the valid data so if if form dot is underscore valid then we will save the form so form dot save and and we will pass success message so message is dot success and request your account is created successfully okay save this then here we will also import the form so for doing that we will just go for form Not form form okay now here we will write else condition what if user is not created and we have some errors so else we will simply assign this form copy paste it and we will remove this request dot post save okay and here we will also after creating user we will redirect the user so return dot redirect sorry not written dot we need to separate this we will go for home so we will redirect user to home now what's the matter here hmm. Redirect is imported. Render request. Okay, we need to separate it with comma here. <laughs> this, it took me long to solve. Okay, now after doing this, we need to go to our register template. So here we will go in register and here simply I will provide form. So form. Save this open up the terminal i'll expand this and i will write python manage dot py sorry manage.py run server i will open this in browser i will click on sign up and you can see we have got the form with some set of rules while creating the password so meanwhile i will also open my admin panel 
I'll go to users and you can see here we have only two users okay so I will here create one another user which will be name of Kevin here I will create password okay but we don't have save button so we need to create submit button also <laughs> so come over here and we will also wrap this form in form tag so form with post request we don't need this action because we are already direct redirecting the user to home page after creating it okay so action works same one. so here i will give form and also i will create button with submit and i will say create user save this come over here refresh we got our button now we can create kevin kevin and click on create user we don't have csrf token also so we will do that okay so csrf token csrf save this come over here refresh again and we will try it again so kevin 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 i will also add one, two, three, four, five. create user we can see that we have got message your account is created successfully come over here refresh you can see we have got cap okay so we have one another method to create the user and this method is not at all recommended while you are creating large scale website or you are creating any sort of website this is just for your knowledge just if you are creating any project in very hurry if you want to create any project just in a minutes then you can use this method but this is not at all recommended and we are going to see one another method that how we can create user form same like this only but there will be more fields fields for first name last name email id username password and confirm password okay and that will be in that we are going to use user like I will show you the user which we have used here and we are going to use user creation form and with this with help of this both we are going to create our own form to create user okay so in next video we are going to say that so this is it for today's video guys in next video we will do same thing so thank you so much and if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next one thank you